Martin Marietta Materials Incorporated, a multi-billion dollar national industry, has just received a new permit to dump millions of gallons of wastewater into Blount's Creek here in North Carolina. More than 500 residents of the area showed up to speak against this, and yet the permit was granted. If you look back into the history of this, there have been times where this permit was pulled by a North Carolina judge and then it was reinstated. So for any of you who know me, I like to get things out there and expose what's really going on, maybe why these decisions are being made. So I thought the North Carolina public might want to see this. 2025, Martin Marietta Materials had a net worth of $29.9 billion. So there's a lot of money involved. Obviously, there's going to be an enormous amount of people employed doing this as well. All right, the next thing to take a look at, you go to, you type in Open Secrets into Google, and you'll get this little page right here. You click Donor Lookup, and we're going to go to Advanced Search. And just go under Employer of Donor. This is usually the best way I find to do it. So if you go down and click Martin Marietta right here, uh, and just hit Search, you'll get... You can sort by amount or the date, but you'll get a whole lot of information here. So this was uh, this goes back to, to 2020, um, and there's a lot of years. Some of this stuff is quite old, but if you look, a lot of it's also very, very recent. Um, we can sort by the date here. You see there's a ton of money, $50,000, $25,000, $20,000, $6,400, several times over. And we see this going to, to Phil Berger. He's the Senate pro tem in North Carolina for a long time. A man that is quite possibly just as powerful as the governor, if not more so. And you could see there is a lot of it. And then we see Tim Moore, who's the Speaker of the House for North Carolina. Phil Berger, Phil Berger, Phil Berger. I mean, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of money that have been coming in. And then you get down into the money to PACs. So these are the political action committees, the National Stone, Sand, and Gravel Association. There is an absolutely incredible amount of money involved in North Carolina right now. Now, I would note that anything you're seeing here, you should probably look at it because this does not look like it has anything to do with the mine. And it's just somebody who happens to have the Martin Marietta employer. Okay. So you do have to look at this a little bit more carefully than I am now. This is just an overview. All right, so I think you get the general idea here. And please remember, you got to look at those things very carefully because just because someone has that employer does not mean that the money that they're giving is for that specific purpose. However, when you see the CEO giving $5,000 over and over and over again, um, it's hard to understand, uh, especially when you see him giving it to both parties, uh, it's hard to understand that it would be for anything other than a business. And that's usually your big red flag. And you do see it there. You see money, even in North Carolina, where the po Republicans are so powerful, you do see money going to both parties in this instance. And the only thing that really makes sense there is that this isn't something that's party related. This is something that is business related. So you have a whole lot of people that are standing up against a business in North Carolina. They don't want to see this happen. And yet it still happens. And what you pretty much always see in that scenario is you will see a lot of politically active people, a lot of people making contributions, a lot of PAC involvement, a lot of lobbyists that are going up there and they're fighting against all the rest of these people. Now, I'm not even making a statement in particular that the mine discharge is going to be detrimental in some truly terrible way, that it's not even possibly worth uh, whatever impact it does have because of the output of that mine. I have no idea. I am not an expert on this. What I do know is that I like for our country to represent its people. And I don't really see that here. And I don't really see that in North Carolina in a lot of other instances. So please just be cognizant of this when you're out voting. Please be aware um, whether you're voting on an issue or, you know, you just vote Republican down the ticket or Democrat down the ticket, whatever you do, please be cognizant that those single issues that you may feel like are related to you on the federal level may not be what you should really be concerned with at the state level. So at the state level, things can be very, very different. And you will see legislators who have formed very close relationships, maybe over a very long period of time, having support from, in this case, a mine or a PAC or whatever it is. Uh, and they may not make decisions on behalf of the American people, on behalf of the people of North Carolina. So please be cognizant of that. Again, I have no idea how detrimental or even if it will be detrimental at all to Blount's Creek. It's certainly changing something, and I don't know if this is good or bad. 
for anybody who would like to sort of help, if you're still very concerned about this, to help in the future, I have a list of items right here, things that you can look for and uh, a means of gathering information if you would like to bring this back up or to point out that, hey, it seems like they're messing up because while there is monitoring that's in the permit, that monitoring is not constant. So the people that are living on that creek, the people that are fishing on that creek, you are absolutely the best people to be watching for uh, changes in the color of the water, changes in the turbidity of the water. If it gets very, very cloudy where it is normally not very, very cloudy, that's definitely something to be concerned about. Any strange smells are something that you should be paying attention to. Um, uh, less life. You know, if you see less life in an area, even all the way down to little, say it's like mayflies or mosquitoes, anything, anything that lives in that water is part of that ecosystem. If you know when fish are little bitty tiny baby fish, they're eating, you know, algae and zooplankton and all these tiny little insects and stuff like that. So this absolutely does matter for the overall food chain. So people, please be cognizant of that. Watch out for these items. And if you see anything there, please feel free to reach out to me, to reach out to Sound Rivers, um, the Coastal Federation of North Carolina, and as well, the Department of Environmental Quality, the Department of Water Quality, and let them know what you're seeing, let them know what's going on, and make sure that you document it. Make sure that you record it very specifically, that you state the time and the date and what you're seeing, and hopefully we can prevent this from, from being bad. Maybe it's not bad. I have no idea. I just know that it doesn't look like the North Carolina government is representing the people of North Carolina. And I would like for everyone to know uh, why that may be. I would like for us to look at the donations and see how things work. And also to accept the fact that it's really our responsibility. We decide who sits in these seats. And if you vote specifically just based off party and not specifically based off of issues like this, where your government does not represent you on a small scale local level, then you're going to get this as a result. If you just vote down the ticket, then these people win elections based off how much money they have to advertise to you all effectively. That is all, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.